Hi guys, welcome to Advanced Tech World. We hope all of you are doing good. Guys, today we're diving deep into a critical question. Why are Russia and China ahead of the United States in hypersonic technology? Stick with us as we break down the factors driving this global arms race. Let's get started. In the fabric of human achievement, speed has always been a defining factor. The quest to go faster reshaped history from the invention of the locomotive to the jet engine. Today, we stand on the cusp of a new era in hypersonic technology, which involves flight speeds of Mach 5 and above. But beyond transportation, this technology is reshaping military power. While the U.S. pioneered the concept of hypersonic flight with the X-15 in the 1960s, Russia and China have taken the lead in developing hypersonic weapons, changing the balance of power in the process. So what exactly is hypersonic speed? When an object travels faster than Mach 5, it enters the hypersonic realm. While the concept isn't new, the ability to weaponize this speed is what has captured global attention. Between the 1960s and 2011, the U.S. already demonstrated hypersonic flight with the X-15 in the space shuttle. But today, hypersonics is no longer just about speed. It's about precision, maneuverability, and the ability to outsmart existing defense systems. Russia and China have recognized this and moved quickly to develop hypersonic weapons, while the U.S. is playing catch-up. Russia and China are ahead for several reasons. Russia's hypersonic weapons, like the Kinjal missile, have already been deployed in combat, proving their effectiveness. These weapons not only travel at incredible speeds, but also fly at low altitudes, avoiding radar detection and defenses. China, on the other hand, is advancing quickly with its DFCF hypersonic glide vehicle. In 2021, China's hypersonic test rattled U.S. military officials, comparing it to a Sputnik moment. They've built the world's most powerful hypersonic wind tunnel, the JF-22, which allows them to test at Mach 30, unmatched by any other nation. Their advancements mean they can deliver devastating strikes quickly and accurately. Meanwhile, the U.S. faces significant hurdles to catch up. So why is the United States lagging behind in this critical race? One major obstacle is bureaucracy. Unlike Russia and China, where the state controls hypersonic development with near total freedom, the U.S. regulatory system has slowed testing and development. The sheer amount of red tape involved in environmental regulations, testing approvals, and safety standards hampers progress. In contrast, Russia and China can conduct numerous tests without the same restrictions, allowing them to iterate and perfect their designs more rapidly. Another issue is funding. While the U.S. has committed billions to hypersonic research, it won't field operational weapons until at least 2034. Without faster action, the U.S. risks falling even further behind. The future of hypersonic technology is still unfolding. But one thing is clear. Russia and China are currently leading this race. For the United States to catch up, it will take a collaborative effort between government, private enterprise, and military contractors to overcome the barriers that are slowing progress. Thanks for watching. If you found this breakdown informative, be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more updates on the cutting edge of military technology. This is Advanced Tech World, signing off.